Welcome to Easy Moto Tim, where I share tips to enhance your motorcycle travel experience. Today's topic deals with making a transparent background for custom waypoint symbols. One of Basecamp's features gives you the ability to install custom waypoint symbols. We looked at that feature in the last video. I suggest you watch that video before this one. In this video, we'll edit a custom waypoint symbol and give it a transparent background. BMP files cannot have transparency. The file just contains dots to be displayed on the screen uh, and a color for each dot. PNG files, however, can contain areas that are transparent. Since BMP files cannot have transparency, the developers of Basecamp arbitrarily decided they would assign a special meaning to the color magenta. Any dot in a BMP file that is magenta is treated as a transparent area. The map below a custom symbol will show through any dot in the symbol that is magenta. The resource used in this video is GIMP which is an open source graphics editing program for Windows. And you can download it from gimp.org slash downloads and the link is in the description. But before we get into GIMP, let's explore what we mean by transparent background. We're in Basecamp and we're looking at the National Parks custom waypoints that we imported and we created uh, imported and added the custom waypoint symbol of the National Parks arrow for those waypoints. We have here a standard waypoint which is the symbol which is the flag. Notice when it's selected it has a dark gray background and it's a square. When we select another waypoint that dark gray background goes away and the parts of the map that are underneath that symbol are revealed. So we say it has a transparent background because the graphic that's below the symbol shows through the background of the symbol. Now the National Parks symbol we have fills the entire square. Um, it's all filled in with color. If we want just the arrowhead to show and not all of that color around it, we have to remove that, that part and create a transparent background. Now here we are in GIMP. I downloaded it and installed it. Before you begin working with it, there's a couple of things you need to set. Windows and single window mode and you need to have the toolbox showing and the tool options showing. There's a little symbol in the upper corner of the tool options called configure this tab. Be sure that you've checked lock tab to the dock. Now this isn't a tutorial in GIMP. If you need help with getting GIMP installed and using it and getting the toolbox and the tool options to show. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that can help you get started with it. Now the next thing we want to do is set our foreground and background colors. These two boxes here, the foreground is black and the uh, background is yellow. We want to set the foreground by double clicking on that black box. We get a dialog, change foreground color. And we want magenta, which is red and blue. And you see in the, the uh, we've set it up. The current color is magenta and the old color is black. When we hit OK, it will set it to uh, magenta. Now you can have it either by clicking this 100, you can have it in percent or you can have it in a value from 0 to 255. Okay, so we have magenta set for the foreground. 
and we'll double click on the yellow part which is the background and we're going to set that to white which is 255 for red, green and blue. And you see here old is yellow and the new one will be white and we select OK. Now I have downloaded from POI Factory the 48 by 48 pixel symbol. The larger the symbol, the easier it is to work with and the better it will be to scale it down to smaller sizes. So we'll go to File, Open, and we have National Parks Plus 48 bitmap that I uh, downloaded and moved into a working directory. And we'll open that. It's small in the screen, so hold down your control key and roll the mouse wheel to make it larger. When I did the recording first, there's a setting in GIMP that I forgot to mention. And so I'm going to File, Open Recent, and select our uh, original National Parks Plus image. And I'm going to scroll, control and scroll it with the mouse wheel to enlarge it. When you've opened an image, you want to be sure that the image mode is RGB. That way the bucket fill will work. If it's in a different mode, that won't work. So I'm going to select the bucket for bucket fill in the tool section. We want foreground fill and fill with similar colors, tra fill transparent areas, anti-aliasing, and set the threshold somewhere around 25. I find that works okay for what we want to do here. Now around this arrowhead symbol, there are a lot of colors. When we click on a color, it will change because we've selected foreground fill. When we click on a color, it will change that color to magenta. And we need to go around and make sure we have it all colored in magenta. Remember, Basecamp uses magenta on a bitmap file to designate a uh, transparent color. Now, what I want to do to make sure I've got all of the colors changed completely to magenta is switch to fill background color, left click, and to turn it white. And that reveals that there are quite a few areas that have we didn't get changed, they didn't show. And the ones that are magenta, I will change to white. All right, then back to fill foreground color and click the white. And now we have a symbol with a all of the other stuff around the arrowhead has been changed to magenta. So when we save that as a bitmap and use it in Basecamp, it will be transparent. So now we're going to do File, Export As. I'm going to call it um, National Parks Plus 48 dash magenta so I can tell what it is. Click Export and then click export on this other little box a second time. Now we're going to change the uh, size. We're going to scale it down and make it in several sizes. I'm going to go to image and scale image change it from 48 by 48 to 32 by 32 and change the interpolation 
selection to none, and then scale. And there we have it in 32 by 32. I'm going to file, export as, and I'm going to call it National Parks Plus 32x32. And export again. Now I'm going to file, open recent, and get the original 48 by 48 back. Always work with your largest size file. Control key and roll the mouse. Image, scale image, and let's do 24 by 24. Interpolation none, scale, file, export as, and I'm going to call it 24 by 24. Export and export a second time. File, open recent, get the 48 magenta. Control, scroll, your wheel, image, scale image, and let's do 16 by 16. Interpolation none, scale. File, export as, and we'll make it 16 by 16, and export. Export again. All right. Now we can go to the working directory where I saved these files that we just created. Notice there are 16 by 16, 24 by 24, the 32 by 32, and the 48 that I downloaded in the, the magenta copy of that. I'm going to select each of the three sizes and control copy, then go over to our My Garment custom waypoint symbols and paste, control V, then one by one change them. I'm going to make that 010 bitmap. The 24 I'm going to F2 and rename it 011. And the last one I'm going to F2 and 012 rename it. Now we have to close and reopen Basecamp. Let's pick our first one here, open it, get the window, and go down to the bottom. And there we have a small, medium, and large symbol. Let's select the middle one. Close that. Select over here on the flag so you can see the difference between the, the arrowhead with the tra transparent background and the one with all of the uh, colors in the box around the arrowhead. There you have it, a custom waypoint symbol in BMP format with a transparent background. In the next video, we'll create a custom waypoint symbol in PNG format with a transparent background. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to support this channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com or go to the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to the products I use. The link is in the description. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.